Jumpstart Your Priorities with John Maxwell. Guys, this book fired me up. Let me show you. Introduction. How would you describe your life? Are you achieving what you desire? Are you accomplishment, accomplishing things that are important to you? Do your prospect look at you towards the future? Everyone wants to be successful and fulfilled, but most people cannot define what success means to them. And even fewer people understand how the way they live today's impact in today's world. Why is that? The root of the problem is most people misunderstand success. Thinking is a m m magical, mystical, something that happens, just happens, that comes for being lucky or working hard or making connections. Here's the missing piece. The secret of your success is determined by your daily agenda. It all comes down to what you do, what you see. Success doesn't just suddenly occur one day. For the matter of the, fa neither does failure. Each is a process. Every day in your life, it's merely preparation for the next. What you become is the result of what you do today. Growth, success, and fulfillment comes with making a wise decision on priorities for your life and then merging them well into your daily activities and agenda. You begin to build a better life by determining determining to make good decisions, but that alone is not enough. You need to know priorities to set your life. I've given the subject a lot of thought and talked to many successful people and narrowed down the list of critical life priorities for success to 12. I called them the daily dozen. Number one. Attitude. Choose and display the right attitude daily. Two, focus. Think, act, and focus daily. Three, health. Know and follow health guidelines daily. Four, family. Communicate with and care for family, your family. Thinking. Practice and develop good thinking daily. Six, commitment. Make and keep your prior commitments daily. Finances. Make and properly manage dollars daily. Eight, faith. Deepen and live out your faith daily. Nine, relationships. Initiate and invest in solid relationships daily. Ten, curiosity. Generosity. Plan for and model generosity daily. Eleven, Values, embrace and practice good values daily. And 12, the most important one, growth. Seek and experience improvements daily. Please don't let this list bother you. What I'm suggesting is that you make a decision in those key areas uh, once and for all and manage those decisions daily. You can create a kind of tomorrow you desire. Successful people make the right priority decisions early and manage the decisions daily. The earlier you make these decisions, the longer you will manage them and make and be more successful you become. Most people can make good decisions once they know their priority should be. But character and per prevalence, per persistence determine what happens after the decision is made. To help you follow through the critical areas, I recommended recommended disciplines for you to practice for the next 90 days so that you can establish your personal priorities and manage your decisions well in your life. You will be provided with clear steps to help you tackle each 12 priorities and make it a successful asset. Just focus on one area at a time to make the greatest progress. And remember, when it comes to the biggest decisions in life, once you make them, you won't have to keep dealing with them in that way again. What will take what will it take for you to jumpstart priorities? Consistency. Set aside 15 minutes every day for 90 days to think intentionally about your priorities and how you manage them daily. Read and consider inspirational quotes daily and to digest the lesson and move forward by taking action in response to the question. 
if you spend time implementing that kind of priorities described in this daily readings, the next three months will place yourself on a pathway to success. It could be the difference that makes the difference in your life. Ready? Let's get started. Guys, I'm fired up. I'm fired up about life. I'm fired up that I got rid of some people in my life that are allowing me to get what I want in my life. I just came back from Dallas, Texas. I am fired up about just being part of the team that I'm on. I'm fired up about real estate. I'm fired up about life. I'm fired up at just who I've been talking to, who I've been creating my life with, who I, you know, everything I've been talking about. See, there's people out there, there's a lot of people out there that really want to take you down. They don't want nothing out of you. They don't want anything. They want to see you lose. They're dream stealers. They're people that are sucked into the news, sucked into everything out there. My coach told me yesterday, this is what my coach said. Go to your phone, go to settings, and go to battery if you have an iPhone. And look and see how much time you're spending on all the apps on your phone. And if you see social media in there, and you're spending more than 50% of your time on the phone, on social media, isn't that a hello call that you might want to wake up and you might want to enjoy your life? See, we're only here once. Once. Not twice. Once. And we have to live our life on everything we want to do. Now, I made a decision. And I made a decision to help a lot of people win in the business I'm in. Also in real estate. Period. It's, I'm not, I, didn't make, I didn't make a half decision. I didn't put one foot in. I didn't say, you know what? I'm going to try to make it. I'm going to make, you know, give it a little time and see if it works. No, I made a decision. And the decision is this. I will be an RVP and I will be successful and I will get everything I want to get done in my life by the end of the year. And it starts right now. And it starts with this book, okay? Because I'm going to be reading... These chapters with you, day one, day two, day three. And I just want you to hear it out. Just all I want you to do. And I don't care if you listen or not. Because you know what I'm doing? I'm working on me by talking to the phone here. Okay? Because, you know, you can listen to it. And I want you to listen to it. And I think you should listen to it. And it has helped me, you know, all these little books here. How to Jumpstart Your Growth. How to Jumpstart Your Leadership. By John Maxwell, guys. John Maxwell, this guy's not just some guy that, you know, just came out of the out of, out of social media, okay? This is an individual that I've learned a lot from, and I'm now diving into it hard. You know why? Because I'm learning. I'm getting better. I'm realizing that I got to disconnect with some people that just don't get it. They just don't get it, and that's okay because what my coach always tells me is that there's people in life that want some, they want little, and some want it all. And you got to determine where your time goes. You got to determine what you really want. You know what I mean? Like my coach, my coach called me one time. He goes, Mike, what are you doing? I said, I'm raking leaves. I'm fixing this. I'm doing that. I got all these problems. He goes, if you keep doing that, you're going to have that the rest of your life. But if you come and get involved with something, I'm going to show you something that could change your life forever. So guys, I'm fired up. I'm just fired up to be part of life. Life. <laughs> forget everything else, life. So, got a great day ahead of me today. I'm going to be meeting some good people. I'm going to be meeting people that I've met on Zoom that I haven't never met in my entire life. And I'm they're champions. I'm excited to be partners with them. And I'm also going to be putting a house on the market. So, who has it better than me? You know why? Because I watch who I talk to. That's why. And I'm working towards my future. And if you don't talk about your future... If you don't talk about where you want to go, if you don't talk about the, the positive things in life, don't call me. Don't, I, don't want to hear your, I don't want to hear your nonsense. I don't want to hear, okay? I could go to the news and listen to that garbage, okay? I don't want to hear it, period. It's okay. Go call someone else, okay? There's many other people out there that are willing to hear that. I'm looking for the people that want more out of life. The question is, is it you? Is it you? Look in the mirror. Is it you? Thank you. I want you to have a great day today. Okay? Thank you.